Okay, hello everyone, Clarice came back with another video, and in this video, it is going to be my second ending of 2018 collection video, and in this one, we'll be going over my entire video game collection. So, that will include my uh, game collections for Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo 3DS. And, uh, yeah, but if you do like, please leave one and enjoy and subscribe if you're new but also just get something out of the way on my xbox one i have no physicals i'm thinking about picking up some but i don't know yet i kind of want to kind of don't it's kind of like 50 50 decision on uh for it right now but then i think about it I'm like well i can get all the games on well all the new games on game pass so why would i pay for them if i can get them for 10 bucks you know, but anyway, besides that, we're going to be going over my Xbox One games first, and uh, yeah, moving through, but like I said, if you do like, please leave one and subscribe. So with that said, let's go to my games. So we're going to be going for the installed already right now, and um, and then the ready to install. So the first game we got here is Beyond Good and Evil 2, then... After that is DMC, the reboot, then Doom, Grand Theft Auto V, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 HD, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, PUBG, Rage, ReCore, Rise, Skate 3, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, The Division, and Warface. Then, for ready to install, we have Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Cuphead, Dead Space 2, Gears of War, Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, Gears of War Judgment, Hitman, Left 4 Dead 2, Lost Odyssey, Modern Warfare 3, Ollie Ollie, Ollie Ollie 2, Shadow Warrior, Spec Ops The Line, Splinter Cell Conviction, SSX 3, Super Hot, and The Darkness 2. All a bunch of really good games. And uh, yeah, and just by the way, I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about the games because if I do that, and the video will just go on and on and on. But, yeah, just wanted to tell you about that before as well. Okay, so next up is my 3DS collection. First game we have here is Donkey Kong Country Returns. Really enjoying this game. And really enjoying play through, playing through the stages too. And I'm, I asked for an int or, uh, Donkey Kong uh, Tropical Freeze for the Switch for Christmas. So hopefully my sister will give me that. But if not, that's okay. Then, uh, after that, we have Super Mario 3D Land. Really like this one. Uh, not as good as Odyssey, though. Super Mario Odyssey is a way better translation of the Super Mario 3D World, but still, that's still a great game. Then our final one is Legend of Zelda and the Ocarina of Time. Fantastic game so far. Trying to get out of the forest, though. So, I like, don't really know how I can say fantastic, but it's really good so far. And, uh, just trying to get out of the forest. So hopefully I can find out how to do that within the next couple days. Okay, next up is my Switch collection. And, uh, next up, continuing off of Zelda, we have Legend of Zelda, The Breath of the Wild. Fantastic. Just kidding. Haven't played it yet. Need to. Really need to. And really want to. Okay, then after that. We have Super Mario Odyssey, great game, love all the levels, so colorful, so beautiful, it looks like a Pixar film, come to life, great game. And after that, we have the most recent release of this uh, for the Switch, and that is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, great game, loving uh, unlocking all the characters so far, and just love the game. Good old Smash, and I haven't played this in, I haven't played a Smash game in eight years, so really good, I can just hop back on and play it. Okay, then after that, we have Katamari Damacy Reroll, have not yet played this before, but, or played this yet, but played it before on the GameCube or PS2, really good game from what I remember, and cannot, cannot wait to jump back in. Okay, now with that done, we now jump into my PS4 collection. And then we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Okay, first game is The Sims 4. Really disappointing Sims uh, game, but I think they added uh, some stuff, like all the stuff we wanted. So, um, yeah, I might hop back on. 
but who knows? I'll have to do info, uh, research on it to see if they actually added it. But if not, then it was fun while it lasted. Okay, next up is Life is Strange. Life is Strange, really good game, but eh, I don't know. It's all like, hmm, played it, mm, it was fun, but I don't know, I'm not really excited for Before the Storm. I mean, I kind of am, but not like, oh, let's go pick it up kind of thing. So maybe that's just like a one and only game type thing of the series. Okay, next up is a rager. It makes your rage. Super Meat Boy. This game is fun, but screw it. It's so hard. Oh, man. And it pisses you off, too, because once you die, guess what? You're going to have to start all the way over. And that's not fun. Okay, next up is Rocket League. Really great game, but only for a short while, in my opinion. Uh, I think they'll have to create a sequel to really get me back into the series. Or, I don't know, do something with it to make it, like, fun again. Because I played all the game modes, played it for a couple hours, and it was fun. But, you know, it's, eh, it's there. It's there if I ever want to go back. Okay, and we have my Lego collection. We have Lego Harry Potter's years 1 through 4 and 5 through 7. Really good games. Same with Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Really, you know, just fun games, you know? Plus, they have all the Marvel Super Heroes. And uh, I'm looking to pick up all the rest of the Lego games besides Lego Worlds because I heard that one was real bad. But, man, I just love Lego games. I really hope they, um, they probably won't, but remaster Lego Star Wars to complete Saga. I know I said I had that on my Xbox one, but that'd be really cool if they did that. But... If they don't, then whatever. Okay, and then next up is uh, the last LEGO game, and that's LEGO Star Wars Force Awakens. Really fun uh, movie game. I uh, really enjoy it. I uh, hope they make one for uh, The Last Jedi, and then also whatever Chapter 9 is. But this one, really, really fun still. Okay, and after that, we move into my WWE collection. We, uh, we're going to go in uh, from... 2k15 to on and the first one is 2k15 really good game but uh really good looking game but oh man it is like desolate on game modes there is absolutely no game modes in here like there's matches but not not a lot okay then after that we have WWE 2K16, really fun game, really improved on a lot of what 2K15 didn't have, but not perfect yet. Then after that, we have 2K17, the debut of AJ Styles in here, really good game, really fun, had me playing for weeks on end, but didn't keep me hooked, though. And after that, we have WWE 2K18, a big improvement on the game. I think this is where the new engine kicked in, or new lighting or whatever, but really good game. Really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah. And my last game of the series uh, is WWE 2K19. Really enjoying playing this. Just, I just love it. Love the gameplay, love the matches, love the creation suite. Love everything. Don't really play the my careers of these. Don't think I'm going to be playing this my career anytime soon i haven't even started but the showcase was really good i really love that dana ryan showcase though the one letdown though was the dream match because they're like oh what what's the dream match gonna be is it gonna be a ring of honor match is it gonna be some type of match but it was just like daniel bryan versus brian danielson at wrestlemania like really really but whatever still great game out of that the only problem i have with this um, is, uh, the DLC, some of the DLC should have just been on the disc, so, for example, EC3 should have been on, um, who else? Oh, Mike and Maria Canellis and Ricochet, he should have been on because he is the NXT North American champ. To where they made the decision to just leave Adam Cole as North American champ, There'd be no problem, but since they made him, there's a bit of a problem. Also, 
there's a lot more problems. No Nikki Cross, who was in last year's game. No Tommaso Ciampa, who's the current NXT champ, but was also in last year's game. And then no Brian Kendrick, who was also in last year's game. What are you doing, WWE? That doesn't make any sense to me, but it's okay. You know, they they create wonderful looking uh, cause on uh, the community creations. And the Tommaso Ciampa I'm using in my series... I'm sure if you've seen him, you're like, holy shit, that looks like legit Tommaso Ciampa. But still, but besides those, I think the DLC for this game should have been War Raiders, Keith Lee, Matt Riddle, uh, Candice LeRae, and Lacey Evans. There you go. But no, you're like, oh, we, we need to uh, expand on it. But whatever. Then after that, we have Resident Evils. I only have two of them, but I've played the others. Um, Resident Evil 7, great game. Really sold me on the horror. Really scared me, too. But really fun. Cannot wait till 8, whenever that comes out. Probably next generation. Then 4, I uh, have not yet beat this, but really good game so far. Then we move into my zombie collection. And I have a lot of them. And I... Uh, we have a lot of them we have black ops 3 just counting this because it has zombies black ops 3 really fun really glad they remastered all the re uh all the classic max maps especially kino der toten played the shit out of that when that came out then black ops 4 really good game uh the blackout mode is fun it's only fun from time to time not like a diehard uh battle royale player but it's still fun Whenever I feel like playing it. Because I don't die early. I like always last until the top 10 or top 20. And that like raises your heartbeat. I just got to get better at uh, you know shooting when I see. Because I usually uh, see the person like oh he can't see me. Then I die. Okay then after that we have Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. It's a shame that this game has died out. Because when I first got it I played it. Tons of people online, then I played again. Absolutely nobody. It's really sad. Really wish this, uh, this had more people on it. And, uh, I wonder if they're gonna make a third one. That was my TV if you heard it. And after that, we have a really underrated game, and that's Killing Floor 2. It's fun, but, you know, I don't know. It It's fun, but I think it stayed. It's time here as long as i played it you know it's fun but you know it's not like a game like oh let's go back to it still fun though okay then after that we have dead rising one two and four so four two and then one dead rising two is by far my favorite i just love I just loved um all the things that were introduced into the game create a weapon co-op I know you could play co-op in the first one, but, you know, just tons of fun, you know, create a weapon, uh, and all the base, uh, all the base stuff from Dead Rising 1, so fantastic. And I really wish they released 3 on the PS4, because I have OCD with video games, and if I don't have one of them, then I don't have all of them, and it pisses me off. But, um, whatever, you know, I'll try to deal with it, but still, 4 is, 4 is pretty good, but haven't beat it yet, but... Need to. Need to beat it. And I already beat one on my 360. So, yeah. But, still. Dead Rising 2. Such a great game. And after that, we have Zombie Army Trilogy. Uh, really fun to shoot zombies in the testicles. And after that, we have Dying Light. Great game, but only for a short time. Cannot wait till 2. And, uh, yeah. Okay, next up are my shooters. And, uh, Call of Duty is incorporated in that, but not Black Ops, because I already talked about that. Okay, we have a lot of shooters here. Okay, we have, okay, we're gonna start out with Battlefield 4, the best Battlefield on the PS4. Battlefield 4. Don't really like, didn't really like one, got bored of it really fast. Um, and, uh, yeah, Battlefield 5, I almost got a Battlefield 2, Battlefield 5 just looks like a rehashable one, but more stuff. And I'm not a fan of that. Then, after that, we have Rainbow Six Siege. Really great game. Want to get back into it, but don't know when I will. 
And after that, we have Overwatch. Need to get back into this, but I don't know. A lot of these shooter games are just like, oh, you play it for a couple months and then you're done. But this is still a great game to play, even now. Then, next up, Titanfall 2. Really a shame that this got killed off by EA. I mean, they released it on the same day uh, as Battlefield 1. And come on, don't you want people, don't you want things to succeed? If you would have liked to succeed, this would have made you a lot of money. But no, no, you uh, released uh, Battlefield 1, which was disappointing. Anyways, besides that, after that is uh, Sniper Elite 4. Uh, really fun to shoot people in the testicles. That's all I'm going to say about these games. <laughs> and after that, we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Really enjoyed the nostalgia of this. Really enjoyed playing it. And yeah, really hoping for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Because if they do that, then oh, that will be so fantastic. Okay, then after that, we have... For Honor, really good game. Really like the combat in that. Then after that, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Have not picked that game back up in a long time. Okay, then next up we have we have my uh, Bethesda collection, and I'm just gonna get all of them out. So just hold on. Yeah, so we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. First game was Wolfenstein 2. Fantastic game. Reminds me of uh, Inglorious Bastards. Then we have Wolfenstein 2. Did I say Wolfenstein 2? Wolfenstein the New Order. Oh. And then Wolfenstein 2. Reminds me of the sequel. If there was a sequel to Inglorious Bastards, this would be a such a great game. Love BJ. And cannot wait till the third one, which will probably be on the PlayStation 5, which I don't care, man. I just want more Wolfenstein, baby. Then, after that, we have Dishonored, Dishonored 2, and then Dishonored Death of the Outsider. Have, I played a lot of 1, played a lot of 2, have not yet played Death of the Outsider, so I think I'll add those, or that, to uh, my games to beat in 2019. But really great games, really good stealth games. Okay, next up is The Evil Within 2 and 1. Uh, both really good games, really like 1 uh, better because it's a linear story campaign. There's no open world. Kind of dislike too because it's an open world and you can do side missions. And I'm not really about that. I don't really like like I I don't mind open worlds, but I just like to beat the campaign. You know, just look. And you can do that, but like with games like uh, Red Dead Redemption, like or Grand Theft Auto, like you can play the missions and then halt. They just put a halt in front of you. You're like, oh, you have to go do this now. It's like, really? Really? Come on. Just let me play the game. But uh, these games are still fun, though. Still haven't beat uh, 2. Need to do that soon. Okay, next up is Prey. Uh, have not yet jumped back into this. Need to really soon. I really want to beat all my Bethesda games. And after that, we have Skyrim. Really good game. Dumped a bunch of hours on the on the 360 for this. And then got it. And then I played for a little while. I'm like, eh, do I need to dump more time into it? I don't think so. But still a great game. Then our last one. And a great one in that. Uh, as that fact. Doom. Cannot wait till Doom Eternal. This game is fantastic. And yeah. And another thing I want to do for my Bethesda games. Uh, is get all the seal books. So I have Doom, I have Wolfenstein 2, so I need to get New Order, uh, Dishonored, Dishonored 2, Evil Within, Evil Within 2, Prey, and Skyrim, because I know Dishonored Death of the Outsider doesn't have one, which sucks, but I'll pro they'll, they'll probably be one. I know people customly make them, but uh, yeah, but that's one thing I want to do with my Bethesda games. Anyways, after that, we move into our fighting games, which I have a lot of. Holy shit. Okay, so first game is Injustice 2. Oh, man, really great game. Really love all the uh, gear unlocks that you can get from here. And, yeah, it kept me addicted for quite a while. And after that, we have Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Great game. I uh, love this. Remind me so much of 2 and 1. Back when I used to play it in uh, the arcade. 
because uh, this one store near our house, I used to walk down there always and ask my mom, Oh, Mom, can I have some quarters so I can play Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Yeah, so many great memories. So many. Then, you have this piece of shit. I mean, it's not a piece of shit because it's good on gameplay, but disappointing on, like, the difficulty of it. Um, because I'm stuck on Dante and don't even want to go back to try. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Thought this was going to be fantastic. And the gameplay is fantastic. I enjoy the special moves. I enjoy how they made it um, more accessible for people to pick up and play. But the one thing they made hard as hell on here are the uh, story missions. Super hard. I'm stuck on Dante and don't think I'll ever go back. But who knows. Then after that, you have Tekken 7. Really great game. Didn't realize that this came back in two... This came out in 2015. Holy shit, dude. That's three years. But yeah, really great game. Then after that, you have Mortal Kombat X. Cannot wait till Mortal Kombat 11. But, oh man, this game is so good. So good. Plus, I love the characters of Jason, Leatherface, um... Who else? Leatherface, Jason, Texas Chainsaw. Oh, I mean, isn't that the guy from... Yeah, that's the guy from Texas Chainsaw. But, yeah, man, it just makes me want... Uh, oh, yeah, Predator. Uh, just makes me want a horror villain-specific fighting game. So, you can have your Ashes from Evil Dead, uh, Reagan's from The Exorcist, um, Michael Myers. Oh, yeah, Michael Myers is on there. Um, Jason, and so, like, all those classic horror villains, but fighting against each other, I really want NetherRealm to do that. If they do that, that would be fantastic. Oh, man, that would be so good. Okay, next up is, uh, Soul Calibur 6. Really enjoying this. Have not yet started the story, but played the shit out of the arcade mode. And, and hope, am hoping to start the story sometime soon. Then, after that, we have Dragon Ball of Fighters, which, this game, it was fun, but, I, I don't know, I kind of fell out of it after a little while, I'm like, it's fun, but, mm -hmm, not that fun, you know, I mean, maybe I'll return to it in the future, but who knows. Okay, then after that, we have my superhero games, we have, oh, that's not superhero, but we have... Batman Return to Arkham, fantastic games. Love Asylum and City. Then we have Arkham Knight. Great game. Disappointing story. Because it got, like, I knew what it was going to be right at the beginning. Or right after that one uh, dream sequence with Joker. But, ah, uh, man. It was real fun, though. I almost completed everything around the map. Besides those damn Riddler trophies. Then we have Batman Telltale. Need to uh, pick this back up and play it again. Because uh, I forget what actually happened. I want to play this and Enemy Within. And plus, I want to get all the other Telltale games just to honor Telltale because they shut down. I mean, Season 3 of Walking Dead is being completed. Or no, Season 4. It's being completed, but you know, I just want to do that to honor them. Because I really love Wolf Among Us. Really love The Walking Dead. And uh, yeah, but... Yeah, want to pick all those up sometime soon. Hopefully, I'll get them all for Christmas. But who knows? Then, after that, we have my Rockstar Games. First one up is the most recent one, and that is Red Dead Redemption 2. This game is fantastic, but like I said, I hate that they put a halt on things when you're doing story missions. Like, come on, just let me play, please. Please. But otherwise, other than that, this game is fantastic. Man, after that, we have Grand Theft Auto V. I beat this game like three times. Once on my 360, once on my Xbox One, and then once on my PS4. Great game. Don't really play online anymore because it's just grinding now. And I'm not into that. I mean, like, I have a house. I have cars. I was like, eh. It's fun, I guess. Then after that, the best detective game on the PS4. LA Noir. Really enjoyed this game. Have not yet replayed it, but am planning on it. Maybe. I don't know, though. Okay, then after that, we move on to my top shelf. And first game up here is South Park The Fractured But Oh, really good. Really fun. Reminding me of Stick of Truth. 
But, oh, God, it makes you tired if you lose, because then you have to sit through the cutscene, and then play the battle again. And then if you lose, you have to sit through the cutscene. Plus, some of the comedy in here is not even funny. They use, I like, I get it, it's supposed to be annoying, but it's, like, really annoying to where they use the same fucking joke over and over. They, like, uh, and he fucked your mom. It's like, haha, that's so funny that I forgot to laugh. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'll beat this game, but it's fun. But I don't know if I'll go and beat it. You know, I mean, who knows? I may, like, tomorrow, I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to play some fractured ball, bro. But who knows? Then, the only disappointing game I have in my collection, and that is Conan Exiles. I think you probably just need people to play it with. So, if you guys have this and you want to play it, then uh, hit me up down below. And, uh, yeah, tell me. Tell me if you want to play it. But, from what I played... It's fun. I think I just need to try it again to give it another chance, but yeah, fun, I guess. Then next up is uh, Monster Hunter World. Great game. Need to pour more hours into this, and yeah, great game. Can you see that? Yeah, right there. And after that is my Assassin's Creed collection. Let me get all the Assassin's Creed on PS4 just to have them. It's kind of weird that they didn't make the first one, again, for the PS4, but hey, what are you going to do? But we have uh, Origins, which really got me back into the series, and then Odyssey, which is getting me more uh, back, getting me more back into the series, but both great games. Quit playing Origins, though, but I want to dump a lot of hours into Odyssey. Next up is Final Fantasy XV. Really great game. Need to pour more hours into it. But yeah, great game. Then The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I want to get back into this. But I'm afraid it will just consume me and consume me. And not let me play any other games. But um, yeah. But fantastic game. And then after that, we have Vampire. Only played a little bit of it, probably the first hour, but it was a really good game so far. Uh, only thing that are kind of clunky are the controls. Uh, they feel kind of slippery, and plus, playing after playing Red Dead Redemption 2, you know what slippery feels like in controls. And then after that, we have all the Tomb Raider games. We have... Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Great reboot to the series. Then we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider. No, Rise of the Tomb Raider. This game is so, so good. So good. And then Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This game pissed me the fuck off. Especially in the ending. Because oh my God, that boss fight pisses. It still pisses me off to, the, to this day. I'm not even playing it. That's how impressive... This game is. It's really annoying that it pisses you off even after you play it. But really good story though. Oh, come on. Here in there. Then after that we have Shadow of War. I have a Shadow of Mordor digitally, but um yeah, but Shadow of War really good. Only thing about those games is is it's just you better be ready for it to be rep repetitive because it's just the same stuff. Yeah, if Fun, but if you die and die and die, it gets annoying. You're like, okay, stop, stop playing this. This game doesn't really need to be beaten. You know, you just need to play a lot of it. But still a really good game. Still a really good game. And next up after that is my Far Cry collection. I got Far Cry 4 and a beautiful steelbook. Really enjoy this game. Really love Pig and Men. Then, yeah. But nothing can compare to Voss, and I'm looking to pick up Far Cry 3 and the Steelbook sometime soon. Hopefully I'll get it for Christmas, but if not, you know, I'll do it on my own time. Then after that, we have Far Cry 5. Far Cry 5. Great game. Really good, but, oh, man. I, I don't know, I think it just came out the wrong time of the year, because I'm like, I want to dump, dump, uh, dump hours in, but I just don't feel like it. Set this in, please. Okay, 
Okay, then after that we have my horror collection. Uh, I guess it's a horror game, but uh, first games up are Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite. I count the first two as horror, and Infinite even as horror too, because I mean, it's just scary what the people do to other people in here, but fantastic games. Then after that we have Bendy and the Ink Machine. From what I played, just the atmosphere gives me chills, and it's really fun though. Then after that, we have We Happy Few, which I quit playing because it's a buggy mess. Because I keep going to the place they tell me to, but it won't do anything. So, uh, yeah. But maybe I'll hop back on and try to beat it, but I don't know. Then after that, we have Inside and Limbo, double pack. Uh, Limbo's really good, have not yet played it Inside. And after that, we have Little Nightmares. Really great game. Really scary game. The designs of the monsters scare the hell out of me. And cannot get them out of my head. And after that, we have Outlast uh, Trinity. Outlast 1, 2, and Whistleblower. 1 and 2 are good. 2's... 2 will make you yell. Especially, not because it's scary, but because you're mad at it. And it pisses you off a lot, but one's really good. Just hate that you can't use any weapons. That's the only annoying thing, like, about it. You know, like, come on, let me use a weapon, please. And we have Friday the 13th fun co-op game. But, uh, yeah, you really need people to play this with. I played it not with people, but with random. So it was fun, but not as much as a party game. Get in there. Get in there, Jason. Then after that, we have the Devil May Cry games. We have Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3, and 4. And um, I'm planning on picking up DMC just because uh, the fifth one seems to tie in with that one. I just want to have that and play it so I can... Uh, get the full story. Plus, I'm replaying one through th one through four uh, right now, and hopefully, I'll defeat it by when five comes out. And yeah, but really great games. Okay, then after that, we have my Souls like games, and there's a lot. But first game up is uh here. Wait, we'll we'll do that. We got Surge, the Surge, really fun game, but uh. Don't know if I'll go back to it. Here we got Dark Souls 3. Fantastic game. Favorite one of this series. Played that game like 20 times. Then you got Dark Souls 2. Uh, trying to get back into it, but I want to beat 1 first, then go to 2. And uh, yeah, but really good game so far. Then you got Dark Souls 1. Fantastic. Uh, it was kind of hard getting used to these controls though, because 3 is so much more like Bloodborne, but... This game's still great. And after that, we got Neo. Neo's great game. Uh, we'll finish my playthrough of it once I finish my Dark Souls 1 and 2 playthrough because I already have the 3 playthrough. Then I'm going to play through Neo and Bloodborne. But uh, yeah, Neo, great, great samurai game. And after that, you got Bloodborne. Boy, this game. Whoa. So, so perfect. So, oh, so good. One, of, I think I bought the, yeah, I bought the DLC and I need to play through that too. Okay, then we get into my, not PlayStation exclusives, but games I thought they were going to be exclusive. And the first one up is Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. Tons of hours poured into this. Want to get back into it just to play more of it because it's such a great game. And yeah, great story as well. It's too bad there won't be a 6 though. Because, uh, yeah, fuck Konami, you know. But the the one thing they could do is remaster 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the PS4. And, oh, that would sell so much. That would sell so many copies. But if not, I'm thinking about getting a PS3 and uh, buying all the exclusives on there. So, not all of them, but, you know, uh, Sly Cooper Collection, uh, Metal Gear Solid Collection... And, uh, whatever other exclusives I can think of. But, yeah, still a fantastic game. Okay, next up is 
Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. So happy they made a physical print of this game. This game is haunting, daunting, really challenging, but really fun too. And uh, it also adds the uh, uh, weight on your neck of if you die too many times, you're going to have to restart the whole game over. And I want to get back into this game, but this game is fantastic so far. And next up is one of my new favorite top games of all time, Shadow of the Colossus. Every boss fight in here is different. You need to search for a new way to get your enemy vulnerable so you can jump on them and stab at their glowy thing. Glowy thing. But uh, yeah, this game, so perfect. Makes me want to play Eco. Um, I don't know. I think they have another game, but Eco and uh, yeah, but... This game, beautiful. And after that, we have another time sinker, and that is Horizon Zero Dawn. The world just absorbed me and took me away from the story, but I really want to beat this story. But so far from what I played, it is really good. And after that, we have the Uncharted games. We have Uncharted 1 through 3, great games. Fantastic. Two is my second favorite. And what's my first favorite? Well, that'd be four. This game is oh, so good. So good. This game, fantastic uh, chapter, or uh, cover to cover, I guess. I don't know. Uh, back, back cover, to, yeah, cover to cover. But oh man, this game is so great. Oh man, I love it. The emotional tale ride, especially if you, play, if you played all the games. So great, so fantastic. Cannot wait to see what they do in the future. Hopefully, they don't do an Uncharted 5 with, like, Nathan's kids. Hopefully, I don't know. I just hope, um, I just hope they stop with Uncharted because it's fantastic as it is right now. You know, they don't need to be rehashing and redoing and continuing and dragging out stories that don't need to be dragged out like the one thing that uh that just dropped um dropped me from loving gears of war is the way they just they could have kept it at three and been done and i've played four but it just lost my interest i can't get back into it for like the only fun the only thing fun on there is horde mode and man they should just stop after three because i mean just look at it gears of war one you break out of prison with marcus dom helps you you play through that journey then two you go through the heartbreak of dom losing his wife and finding out his kid's dead and his wife's dead and then three Dom sacrifices himself for you just so you can make it and defeat the queen. And then you defeat the queen in all his glory. And that was a great ending. And then four, it's like, uh, you know, um, what, uh, whatever his name is. Uh, Marcus' son, he finds out, it's like, I have a dad. And then he's like, knock, knock, knock. I, don't, I know you don't want to be annoyed or come out of your mansion. But we, uh, we got problems and we need your help. And then Marcus like... Fuck you, boy. I don't want to play with you. You know, but that's the one downfall, you know. Though, give it this. When they did announce it, got me surprised. But now that five's coming out, I, I, I'm not really hyped at all. You know, stopped after three because three, one through three was perfection. Anyway, after that is uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy. Now, this is a spinoff story. That's different. This game was fantastic. Sets its own bar within the Uncharted universe. Love it. Then, oh, my favorite game of all time. And I think you know what it is, if you've seen me post about it before. But The Last of Us, baby. Oh, this game is so fucking perfect, dude. Oh my god, it's so good. Though, one thing I kind of wish, but kind of don't think they should implement is um the ai being able to see ellie and if they see ellie then they notice you but i kind of think if they did that then that would piss me off even more in the game of course but that'd be a big implementation if they 
learned how to make Ellie, like, do things at the same time as you, and it's like, uh, it's like when you play with, um, what's her name? What's her name? I forget. But, you know, uh, those parts in the story where, like, you know, you're teaming up with someone, you're like, oh, you take him, you take him. That'd be really cool if they implemented that into Last of Us 2. And, oh my god, that's my most anticipated game of next year. Kingdom Hearts 3 was, but that's second now. But, oh, man. Fantastic. Then, after that, we have Gears of War 3. Great game, but not as good as this boy right here. Gears of War 4. Or, Gears of War. God of War 3. Did I say Gears of War? I uh, got Gears of War on the mind, and that's not good. But uh, God of War 3 and God of War 4, fantastic. Wish they renamed the reboot to God of War 4. But no, they don't. They just like to call it God of War, but whatever. It's a different tell. It's a new trilogy. That's the point. Which uh, I'm all for, because this is kick-ass. But this, this right here, this is even more kick-ass. I love it. Love it so much. Then after that, is the Yakuza series, and we got Yakuza Kawan, or, oh, huh, wait, is Yakuza 0? I swear, man, I had it. Where's it? Oh, right here. We have Yakuza 0, which I'm playing through right now. Great game, so far, and, uh, yeah, cannot wait to play the rest of this. I'm nine chapters in. Then we got Yakuza Kiwami 1, which I played a little bit of before getting Zero, but this game is great so far. Yakuza Kiwami 2, which I have not played a single bit of, but oh, I can't wait to play it. And then Yakuza 6, which I played this when I first got it. Only a little bit, only a little bit, like the first 30 minutes, I'm like, hey, let's play this in order, Zero to Six, and um, yeah, but great game so far. And it really sends you on an emotional ride, especially. I mean, even without playing the games. Still got me crying up and stuff like that. But the one thing is, is um, I heard next year they're going to be re-releasing 3, 4, and 5 on the PS4. With uh, up-to-date, or not up-to-date graphics, but just uh, porting them over. And they won't get the Kiwami, um, the Kiwami, uh, what do you call it? The Kiwami design and updated visuals, but they'll be updated in like uh, 1080p and all that stuff. And I can cannot wait till that comes out, which uh, will probably be middle of next year, hopefully. Which that'll be fantastic for me, because uh, they said, um, I think they said before before June of next year, or maybe that's something else I'm thinking about. But I uh, can't wait. So, I'm going to take my time on 0, 1, 2, and 2. But, yeah. Then, next up after that, we have Infamous Second Son. Great game. Uh, first Infamous I've completed, but this is a separate story. Like the ones with Cole McGrath, but I don't know what just dropped me out of it. But this one really got me into it. I think it was the way you just traversed around the city, and I really enjoyed it in this one. Plus all the combat and stuff like that. One thing I didn't like is the last boss fight. That was really annoying, but still a great game. Then, we move on to my one and only Platinum on the PS4. Well, no, my first Platinum on the PS4. Spider-Man, boy. This game, oh, this game is fantastic. I'm debating between Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War, and this between Game of the Year. That's how good it is, because I haven't completed the Yakuza 6s. It will be on my games of the year, but I think really high up, or no, not in the top three, because the top three are the ones that matter on my list. Like, the others do, but they don't, you know what I mean? Like, they're not top three and stuff like that. But I know it's confusing, but top three... I take from what I've beaten, what I've had the most fun of, what I've put the most hours into. And, um, you know, Red Dead Redemption, I've just played and beat 
online isn't that fun to me. Plus, with the payouts. Plus, I'm I I've just already dropped out of online. It's not even that fun anymore. I mean, it was in the beginning, but now it's like, eh. But uh, yeah. And then God of War. It was great, but. I don't know, just something about this game. I went and completed each and every mission, completed every side quest, platinumed the game, and cannot wait to pick up the DLC whenever I get to. It's so great. Okay, then next up is Fire Pro Wrestling World. Really great uh, wrestling game. Um, one thing I wish they added in here were uh, is um, TLC matches, so like Taylor Lazer and ladders and chairs and hell in a cell match but i don't think they'd be able to do that but i think they would you know you think they would but they only have cage and uh, no disqualification match but the gameplay is really fun and reminds you of those old in game uh old wrestling games but still really great game plus you can import other stuff too like um uh, like you can import superstars so far and i think they're gonna add an update where you can import music so hopefully that'll be good too but still, great game. <coughs> then next up is Hotline Miami 1 and 2, the Japan edition. Uh, really great games. Only played one so far. And it uh, caused me to get mad and uh, quit my Miami Mondays series. But um, yeah, still fantastic games. A uh, game because I've only played one. But yeah, really want to get back into this. And after that, we have... Until Dawn, really good game. Uh, need to play more of it. And I uh, think I beat this, but I don't remember. So just make sure I'm going to beat it again. 